I want to uh, I want to introduce you uh, to my friend Jeff Jeff Massey. Um, Jeff's been around here. For, I've, I've known him for about a year. Uh, he has been a, a huge huge encouragement to me, and I've asked him to share a little bit of his uh, story of what God has done for him over this past year. So, Jeff, thanks for coming up. That was a great little hitch moment there, taking taking your asthma puffer there. Good to see you, buddy. Hello. All right. I prayed for high winds and rain today, but, uh, <laughs> so I wouldn't have to do this. But um, Th anywho. this this takes courage, and we we appreciate that, Jeff. Would you tell us what were you doing 14 months ago? Well, 14 months ago, I was headed into the Harrison House. 15 months ago, I was in Corpus Christi, Texas at a homeless shelter. And my brother saw fit to buy me an airplane ticket to Northampton if I promised to get help. Hmm. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. So you got to Northampton. Eventually found the Harrison house. I did. Yep, yep. An amazing house. Um, I'm so grateful for the guys that uh, came there today. <laughs> um, it was a one-year journey um, that really got me focused on my recovery. Dan, thanks very much for sharing. And um, I'll see you at 6 on Wednesday evening for sure. Um, it's about time, you know, to be perfectly honest, since I left the Harrison house, I haven't been to one meeting. That's not good. Um, so thanks, Dan, for offering that and pastor. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, when's the last time you had a drink? <laughs> um, July 9th, 2019. We've got a little over a year. What's, uh, what's Jesus done for you? In one word, everything. Um, my faith in the Lord in the past 14 months um, has gotten so strong. And I'm a good example of needing to put the Lord on the top shelf. Um, in my past, when I put other things um, like um, women and vehicles and, and other things, he's allowed me to lose those things that I put in front of him. Um, he's been able to um, turn me into a person that I can look at in the mirror It's done everything for me. What uh, what has College Church done for you this past year? <laughs> uh, College Church has been able to give me a place to come and share my uh, God-given talents. Um, I'm building the welcome desk here. Um, I worked at the GAP program, helping out um, at breakfast time for the homeless. Um, it's given me a place to come worship the Lord. And uh, you'll always see me here Sunday morning. And sometimes Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, <laughs> and Fridays. I, I, I got to see this welcome desk you're working on for our sanctuary, and, it, and it's just really beautiful. You've got some real skill. I don't, I don't know how Jesus turned water into wine, but I know how he turned beer into furniture. <coughs> um, Jeff, uh, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to um, continuing my recovery, um, continuing to worship the Lord as I have been, um, maintaining my faith. Um, and it's, it's an unclear journey that I have in front of me. Um, but I know if I continue doing the things that I've been doing, um, 
And the Lord knows, you know, I wait. I don't pray every single day. I talk to God, which is praying, but I don't wake up every morning and, you know, get out of bed and say, Lord, help me do this, help me do that. I don't. I'd be lying if I said I did. But I do talk to him every day. I'm just excited um, um, for this next part of my journey. How, how can we pray for you? <laughs> it's funny you should ask, Pastor. Um, I guess I would have to ask that you folks pray for every aspect of my life. But there's one in particular that I've been battling with um, for a very long time, and that's um, I smoke cigarettes. And if you all could pray um, that, I, that God gives me the strength and that I accept that strength to put those down, that's the one part of my life right now that I need to eliminate. And uh, he's been able to take the obsession and the desire for alcohol from me. And I'm just asking for the strength to give up the cigarettes as well. Jeff, you have, uh, you've been a huge encouragement to me. I can't tell you how, how much of a blessing it has been to watch you grow and heal and thrive this past year, to see the gratitude and joy uh, that Jesus has brought into your life just spill out of you every time we talk, and, um, and then to see you hunker down with, with friends and opportunities to serve, and just seeing you do that wholeheartedly, it's just been a huge, huge blessing to me. So we are so grateful for you, and we'd love to pray for you right now. Let's pray. Thanks, Pastor. Heavenly Father, thank you for Jeff. Thank you for what you've done in his life. Thank you for giving him his life back. Thank you for the freedom he's enjoying. Thank you that you took away things from him that he was depending on more than you so that he could put you first. We ask God that you hear his prayer, hear our prayer, uh, to take away the desire for cigarettes, to have that additional experience of freedom and victory, and to be able to repurpose that time and that energy and that money uh, for things that glorify you. Be in his relationships too. And God, we, uh, we pray for the recovery community in our region. We pray for healing and freedom. We pray that Jesus would become the, the centerpiece of many more stories. We pray that uh, we as a church would become more and more woven into the fabric of the community and that we would be motivated by love and seasoned with grace and that we would bear fruit as we do that. We want Jesus to become famous in the recovery community throughout Northampton, throughout this valley, for all the right reasons. You call us to do justice with an attitude of mercy and a posture of humility, and we pray that you'll guide us more and more into those things. Ultimately, God, we pray for spiritual renewal, for our neighborhoods to be transformed, for people to be brought to life by the good news of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Jeff.